Alrighty, so this week we are learning about how we can take care of the earth because on Wednesday is Earth Day. So all week we're going to talk about ways that we can help take care of the earth. Now the world or the earth is a gift that God gave us. It's a special gift that God gave us. And that gift is called creation. Can you say the word creation? So he created the world for us, right? Here's my world. Here's the globe. That's the world, right? And here we are. We live, remember, in the United States. And that's the country we live in. And we live in Florida, which is the state we live in. So here is the world, right? And we, as people, have to take care of this beautiful world that God gave us, right? We need to make sure we take care of his creatures, like the animals. We need to make sure we keep the earth clean, right? We don't want dirty water. We don't want the ground outside to be filled with trash. Like we have to keep it clean. So our story this week is, um, or our lesson is we are to help take care of the world. It's our jobs to help take care of this big, beautiful earth, right? And we talked about that all the, the blue part is the water and all the colored or the green are the land where the grass and where we live. So it is our job to take care of the world because God created all these beautiful things for us like the plants and the trees and the oceans and the lakes for us to enjoy as human beings. So my story this week is called the the perfect beach. The story is called the perfect beach. So he made all these wonderful things for us and he wants us to take care of these things. He wants us to take care of his creation that he gave us, his gift to us. Remember, we read the creation story, and each day on the seven days of creation, he made a different thing each day. Like the first day, he made the night and day, then he made the stars and the moon. So it's our job to take care of all those things. So my story, it's called The Perfect Beach. So here's the leaflet of The Perfect Beach. So we have Jamal and his dad on the beach. So let's read about... Jamal and his dad at the beach. So I'm gonna hold it up and I'm gonna read behind it because that's all I got. All right, so Jamal ran onto the sandy beach. He loved the way it felt warm under his feet. Come on, mom and dad, let's start digging in the sand, he called. They put their towels on the sand, unpacked his toys, and sat down to watch and listen to the ocean. Oh, I lost it. It was blue and had large waves. They could hear the water as it hit the edge of the beach. Jamal also saw children playing in the sand. They had bright yellow shovels and buckets. Jamal could hear them laughing. Dad asked, do you want to go get into the water? Let's go see what the water feels like. Then we'll play in the sand. Jamal jumped up and down and said, let's go, Dad. Jamal had so much fun running along the edge of the water with his dad. Jamal giggled and mom took pictures. Mom brought them their buckets so they could build something in the sand. She also brought them some paper cups to help scoop sand. After a while, Jamal and his dad and mom had built a beautiful sand castle. Jamal stood back and looked at it. He thought it was the best one ever. When dad said it was time to pack up and go, Jamal grabbed the bucket and started walking back to the blanket with mom. Dad called out, wait, aren't you forgetting something? Jamal looked around and saw his dad pointing to the paper cups on the sand. Dad said, Jamal, we can't leave the cups here. We need to clean up for the next visitors. God made this beautiful place for everyone and he wants us to take care, good care of it. Then dad added, Help me pick up the cups and put them in the trash container. Jamal smiled at his dad and he and mom helped Jamal pick up the paper cups and put them in the trash. Jamal, Jamal wanted the beach to be just perfect. So when you go to the beach, it's usually nice and clean and beautiful. But if Jamal had left his paper cups on the beach, would it, would it be nice and beautiful or would there be trash everywhere? So he did the good deed and picked up his trash so everybody could enjoy the beach, right? It's our job to keep the beaches or the lakes and all that clean so everyone can enjoy 
God's beautiful creation that he gave us. So inside is a picture of the beach, right? And there's lots of things on the beach, right? There are things that can be on the beach and some things that shouldn't be on the beach. So look at my picture here. What are some things you see that shouldn't be on the beach? Some things that we should clean up. Would you wanna see a boot on the beach? I wouldn't wanna see a boot or a tire. That makes it icky on the beach. Or a box of candy left over. You wouldn't want that on the beach. And here's more trash. So it's our job to pick up these things so they're not making our beach icky and dirty. Because would you wanna go to the beach if it was all dirty, with filled with trash? Because I know I wouldn't. So it's our job to keep it clean. So I'm gonna say a quick little prayer to end our lesson. So in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. God made the water blue. Thank you, God, for water. God made the grass green. Thank you, God, for grass. God made the flowers many beautiful colors. Thank you, God, for flowers. God made the sky blue. Thank you, God, for the sky. Thank you, God, for all of these amazing things that you have given us on earth. God gave us all these wonderful things. Help us take care of your world every day. Together, let us pray, amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. So I want you to think about some ways that we can help take care of God's beautiful gift of earth or creation. So that's your job is to think about ways that we can help the earth stay clean and beautiful. So not only we get to enjoy it, but all the people long after us. Okay? So I'll see you later and we'll pick up back on this story on Wednesday to talk about some more things that we can do to help our earth, our world, our environment, our creation, our beautiful gift from God. Have a good day.